Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chainsaw Victoria and today you're going to cook a roast with me. I am cooking a half lamb leg and some potatoes, some Yorkshire pudding from scratch. So stick around. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and thank you for the two people who asked me to cook on YouTube because here you go, this is for you. <laughs> rid of some of the fat bits on the lamb um, and I'm just like giving it a bit of a wash already I think a roast is one of our favorite meals in this house or well, actually after taco Tuesday actually after chicken wings there's so many things that we actually just love to eat and I like trying different cuisines. Right. So next, what I'm gonna do is just put like holes, like quite deep inside the lamb. I just wanna do that all round and then I'm gonna insert like rosemary, cardamom, seeds i think that's what they're called yeah cardamom pods um bay leaves and garlic cloves inside these little holes just to get the flavor proper inside the meat so you just want to shove it in there like really get in there Shove a garlic one there as well, and then here. All right, this side, same again. Rosemary, garlic, all those in there, and you get shove it in there, and you get. So next I'm going to salt and pepper this bad boy. So next I have this mixture, which is uh, butter, like melted butter with some Cajun seasoning from Aldi, some chicken seasoning, um, cumin, coriander, and some cayenne pepper chili. And I also have this, this is not from Aldi, Lebanese seven spice that I also added in there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pour quite a lot right now. Work it in there. Add more. Ideally, you'd probably want to do this overnight, like, or today's Sunday. It would have been good if I'd done this like a Friday, but your girl's not that organized. So we're doing it literally, probably couple hours before I actually cook or put it in the oven so what I'm going to do is put this in a roasting bag um, and let it marinate for a couple of hours and then I'll put it in the oven um, for an hour so here's the lamb all bagged up and I am going to cut some onion like roughly cut like literally big chunks and add that to the bag as well for some flavors oh don't you just love when it peels off easily because usually 
Oh, like now. Is it struggling? Yeah. So all I'm gonna do is just literally Yeah, as you can see, different ways of cutting for you there. No, chuck that all in there. And I'm gonna add some extra rosemary. to the oven and I'm going to put my lamb in very soon. Um, so the potatoes I'm using are the Maris Pie Potatoes from Tesco and so I'm going to use a wash and then chop them and then I'll show you. So I've left this marinating for about two hours and I've just found these ties um, that come in the pack for the roasting bag. So I'm going to use that rather than what I was doing. So I'm going to pop it in the oven for 60 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. I'm just going to leave them to boil for about 20 minutes. Next, I'm going to decant the wine. I got a Malbec from Lidl and it's from Argentina. Yeah. And I got this one because it says it pairs well with like red meats and strong cheeses. And I just love a Malbec. And I think Argentina has good wine. So that is it. Um, flavours. So blackberry, vanilla, mocha. So yeah, I think this will be good. So we're looking forward to this. Next, I'm gonna put some oil in a tray. This is for the potatoes. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven for about five minutes just for it to warm up. And then I can put the potatoes in there. Okay, so now we're going to make Yorkshire puddings and I'm just going to put oil in these cupcake tray things and put that in the oven. Okay, so in here we have flour and baking powder and I'm going to add two eggs and then 250 ml of um, milk. Get out the shell, use the actual shell you have. Some salt and pepper. It says use it. And then my milk. Now I think this is actually gonna be more than I actually need. We are only two people in this house, but I love my Yorkshire pudding. I think roast potatoes and Yorkshire pudding are one of the best parts of a roast dinner. Okay, so next I'm gonna pour this into a jug, like so. This 
This is so much, but anyway. It's definitely meant to sizzle, but anyway, we we'll move. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I took it out too early and the oil was not as hot yet, but it's fine. I'm just going to keep moving. Back in the oven. Okay, she is out. Let's get her out the bag. So I've just drained the liquid that was in the bag and I'm going to use this to make gravy. And I'm going to take this out so it can rest for about 10, 15 minutes. All done. The Yorkshire puddings actually turned out really great. So we've got lamb, potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, asparagus, um, green beans, carrots, the gravy. Thanks so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.